Hey everyone, and welcome to this episode of Flash Attack Reviews. I am your host, Frankie Minion. Today we got for you Creeper World Training Sim by Virgil Wall. This is a tower defense type game. It's the year 13271, and humankind has colonized thousands of worlds across the galaxy and universe. When everything is booming, a creature or something of that sort called the creeper comes and starts killing all the planets one by one 50 planets are killed within the first day and billions and billions of people die throughout the war and only 49,825 people are left on the one planet called hope you are currently doing simulations to prepare for a creeper attack on planet hope so just that's about it a funny thing about it is, on the intro, it says that your planet hopes the last planet left. Well, on the third level, it says that your instructor leaves you because he just found out his home planet has just been destroyed. So there's kind of a storyline difference in there. Obviously, he shouldn't have left, but, well, it's not bad. So we start off with the music. One star. Music's nothing special. Nothing bad about it. Nothing good. We'll just leave it at that. For the graphics, we give it a 1 out of 2 stars. Again, the graphics are okay. They're nice and clean, but they're nothing special about it. And here we get to the fun. Two stars for the fun. The game is good and pretty fun, and it has an amazing storyline to it. This would be an awesome idea for a movie, I personally believe. It's just, I wish there would have been more to the actual, um, storyline. Sorry. I wish there would have been more to the storyline, because it's amazing. Like, the whole human race is taking over all these planets, all of a sudden gets wiped out by this one little, not one little, this one big creeper and you're surviving and it just cuts you off right there it, I wish it would have been like Planet Hope comes back finds out how to destroy this guy or we find out there's other planets left or something like that I don't know it also would have been better if they had more attack weapons you get the five weapons but it just seems too little and as we get on to the difficulty, difficulty 2 out of 2. It's a good challenge. It isn't too easy. Is it too hard? Perfect. And here's where we get to the difficulty of rating this game. I know we've never done this before, but we give it a half a star. The length of this game is bad. Both the level is long, both all the levels are long, and the whole game is long. It took me about two and a half about two and a half to three hours to beat the seven levels I believe that it is and I don't know it would have been better like if they had more levels and maybe that amount of time it's just one of the ones it took me like a half an hour just to beat a level I think 10 to 15 minutes for a tower defense level is kind of pushing it because it just gets boring and repetitive and I, I don't know, that's just my personal feeling. So, here at Flash Attack Reviews, we give this game a 6.5 out of 10. Thank you everyone, and have a good night.